Hi guys, it's Sandy, and in today's nail tutorial, there's a bunch of different fruit nail designs for summer. I love all of these designs because they're super cute, bright, and fun, which is perfect for summer. Let me know down in the comments which fruit design is your favorite. So let's get started by using a base coat over all of our nails to protect them and prolong the life of our mani. The first design is the lemon. Begin by painting your nail yellow. Once that's dry, use a small paintbrush and a white polish to draw a piece of a circle over your nail. You may need to go over it a second time to make it opaque. Then paint a few lines inside the circle to create the lemon slices. If you have any room left over on your nail, you can go in and add another one too. And there you go, all done! Next up is the watermelon design. Begin by painting your nail with a bright green polish. Once that's dry, swipe a coral polish down the middle of your nail and give it a slight curve. Fill in that side with the coral polish. Again, if it's not opaque, just add another layer to increase the opacity. Next, use a dark green striper and join tiny strokes together to create some thick stripes. Make sure that you don't have too much nail polish on your brush while you do this. Then, separate the coral from the green by using a white striper. Finally, using a dotting tool or a toothpick, add three black seeds. To do this, dot down and lift up a little bit while pulling the polish outward. Practice on paper first if you need to. And that's it! Up next is the dragon fruit design. Begin by painting your nail white. Once that's dry, use a black confetti polish over the nail for the seeds. Usually these polishes have both black and white confetti in them like this one but you won't be able to see the white ones because they blend into the white background, so it's no problem. Keep adding layers of seeds until you're happy with the result, and then use a pink striper to outline the whole nail. Take your time while you do this and have both hands rested on the table. Also, feel free to maneuver your hand into different positions while outlining different areas of the nail. Just do whatever feels right. Ta-da! Next up is the kiwi design. Begin by painting your nail a light green. Once that's dry, take a white polish and wipe the polish off both sides of the brush like so. Then press the top of the brush down on the middle of your nail to create an oval-like shape. Next, use a white striper to add thin lines coming out of the oval all around the nail. Again, change the position of your hands whenever you feel like you need to. When that's done, use a small dotting tool or a toothpick to add little black dots for seeds in between all of the lines. I like to add between one to three seeds in each row. This is my favorite part of the design because it really brings the design from not looking like a kiwi to looking exactly like one in seconds. And there we go! The final design is a strawberry because it wouldn't be a summer fruit guide without one. So begin by painting your nail red and then use a dotting tool or a toothpick with green polish to draw triangular shapes coming down from your cuticle for the leaves. Make them interesting by varying the sizes of the leaves. Then fill them in using a stippling motion. Next, use a white polish to add small random dots over the red part for the seeds. And that's it! Just finish off with a top coat to seal in your designs and add a beautiful shine. If you'd like to see more summer designs, then give this video a thumbs up and leave your request down in the comments below. Also, if you decide to give any of these fruit designs from this tutorial a try, then please share your recreations with me using the hashtag CutePolish on Twitter and Instagram. Take care, and I'll see you next time!